what do you want to do? Well, back here with... Resident Evil. We began the Chris story last time, and we made a fair bit of progress through all the rooms. Though I was being rather daring, shall we say, with our resources, and we uh, now have um, no bullets. But we know of a few rooms nearby where we have some quest pertinent items. And I don't remember this for a fact, but it seems probable that there will be some ammo around that, uh, those rooms. So let me drop our one save medallion off here. Hey, Rebecca, what's going on? I'll drop my one save medallion off here and we will get going on that. I feel it is pertinent to note that it is, in no uncertain terms, very, 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 very suspicious <laughs> that Rebecca Chambers joined last night. <laughs> Which I, I kind of glossed over last time. But I just feel like it's worth mentioning that that's very weird. Okay, so which is probably priority? The blue... I think I'm actually you know, I'm going to bring both of these. Right, um, I've got both of these. So, so I'm bringing the knife and the gun, which seems probably like a waste. Uh, although, I'm thinking there will probably be a clip somewhere around in these rooms. So we'll get rid of one of these. I'll be able to pick up the clip and actually start using the gun. But I want the knife until then, I think. And that's my rationale. Rebecca, I totally trust you and don't think it's weird that you're here at all. So if we loop around to the north, so we know there are a few zambles in this hallway, although there is like sort of a beam, so I might be able to knife one through it. It's probably easier if I just walk around though. And there's a little tiny room just to the east of here. I bet you there's a clip in there, actually. I probably should leave an empty space. Maybe I shouldn't take the knife. Well, I just, we just come off of a save anyway, so let's just have well, a look what's there. What should I do now? You? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? Um... Well, since he suggested it, sure, come along! Let's do it! Yes, sir! I'll do my best! I don't outrank you! <laughs> you don't have to keep something. doing that! Would you like to go ahead? Uh, oh, okay. Sure, sure! Was that a mistake? <laughs> what I just did? <laughs> I mean, she didn't seem super gung-ho to go, so I wasn't going to suggest it, but then since she brought it up, I was like, why not? Oh, <laughs> I just skirted right past that one. Uh, she says she's going to come by and uh, rescue me later, so that's good. It's locked! Shucks. No ammo from there. Good thing I didn't uh, ditch the knife then. For a little good, it'll do me around here. Um, okay, so there is a zombie in front of the lion statue, if memory serves. I'm gonna get hurt here, it's fine, it's fine, we'll just ignore it, just ignore it. Everyone ignore the problems and pain you're feeling. Ow. <laughs> we're about to enter a haven of herbs, it's alright. Why the hell have I got the sword key with me? I don't think we're going near any ones that are gonna be locked with the sword. Um... I can at least free up some inventory if I uh, get you put this chem chemical stuff in here, as we did in the Jill story, and that'll get rid of this big ol' spooky plant. And I suppose I can just nosh a few green herbs here. Or maybe just the one to get myself back in, a, in good fighting order before we progress. And there's uh, the armor key is at the end there. So that I could actually, uh, I could open some useful looking doors, couldn't I? Right, um, I'm going to notch this. Model. Um, should I need another one or is that going to be a waste? I probably am going to want to grab these later. So I'm going to get the armor key so I can go in that tiny room. Hopefully there's a clip in there and I can actually start clearing the path a bit. Is this the armor key or is the helmet key? I think it's the armor key. Yas. Don't know why I was carrying the sword key. Anyway, so I'm going to try and get back to the save room I was just at, and then, uh... Or, well, no, I'm going to go try and get to the... Well, I won't have any room. So, yes, I am going to try and get back to the save room I was just at. I'm probably going to take a few hits on the, along the way, and I don't think it's worth trying to knife them in this state. Uh, I probably shouldn't have even brought it. Okay, so I'm going to lure you. You follow me. Okay, and I'm going to wait till you walk into a wall like a weird zombie. Uh, please walk into one of the walls. Okay, I didn't even- I just had to guess that they were walking into a wall! <laughs> Ow! I wish you wouldn't. Right, uh, I'm gonna unlock this here. Get inside. And see. A small room like this, I bet this is where... Oh, that's where the old shotgun is. Okay, so there's a desk here where I can use the desk key on. Gotcha, gotcha. There'll be shotgun shells in there. And there's the old broken shotgun. But this is a clip right here, is it not? Hot diggity. So I definitely want to grab that in just a moment here. Um, I need to go sift my inventory around first. Not well thought out. I should have left the sword key so I had room for that clip. Because now I have to run through these ones again, wherein clearing them would be very much uh, the thing I'd prefer to do. There's a lot of room in this hallway though, so maybe I can just... Uh, this, the walk around them strategy works decently well. Uh, pardon me? Well, clearly Rebecca wasn't through here. <laughs> Otherwise she'd have triple roundhouse kicked all of those fools into... She's gone. Did I make a sincere mistake? I didn't want to tell her to stay behind. She's a viable asset of the team. Or, you know, so I assume, having met her for all of ten minutes. Right, since I'm going to be getting the clip, I'm going to ditch the knife behind so I have more room for other things. 
I'm gonna see about putting that blue jewel down though. Okay, so just let me let me map this out. So I'm gonna run over there. Oh man, this takes so much more strategy with with less inventory. So I have to. Run, I'm gonna run over there, pass them, get hurt a few times probably on my way to getting uh, the clip, which I can then use to clear out the two in my hallway. But then also hopefully a path to the blue jewel. And that should be basically all my ammo gone. But Hopefully that clears enough that I can get to another armor room door and there'll be another clip for me somewhere in the near future. We're not far from a save, so I say let's go for it. Uh, I thought you were on the left side. Should have brought an herb, because now I'm gonna hurt in my soul, but also in my body. I'll be the yoinker of that. Yoink. Right, and um, I suppose if I'm about to clear this hallway anyway, I may as well break, uh, uh, grab this to put into the box. I assume this looks, works more or less the same way. Although I've been told that um, there's a special scene that happens if you didn't talk, in, at least in Jill's playthrough, if you hadn't already talked to Barry, by the time you go to that uh, room with the falling ceiling, then Barry rescues you from it, and that's when the famous Jill sandwich line comes about. I don't know if there's any such thing in Chris's story. I, I haven't met Barry yet in this story, um, if he's even hanging around. <laughs> so, I wouldn't know. I love always like, it's too dangerous to fire, and it's like... <laughs> Yeah, I also don't think it would fire. Since we've proven we were able to run around these, I probably don't need especially to clear them out, but it will be just so much easier on me. Um, as before, though, I don't think I'll clear the one in the corner. Okay, you... Two, three, four, five... Oh, I didn't need to do that last one. God, I'm always doing that. Uh, no blood pool, I don't see. And you're up. And you're down, I hope. Uh, not yet. Oh my god, what does it take? Uh, now you're down, okay. That was like half my ammo, wasn't it? That was eight shots. Oh my god. There's one fully standing like in front of a door over here, right? I should I should go clear that one out. That one's definitely a priority because uh, I need the that, there's a quest pertinent item in this door, but there's this one blocking it. Uh, I'm just trying absolutely hard, so hard to not waste things here. Please don't get me from behind while I'm doing this. Oh, okay, move. Uh, did I get that one for good? Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Uh, I can get in here now. And drop that blue gem off, which at the very least will free up some inventory. And I, um, if it's the same as before, it'll give us one of the emblems, the wind emblem or something like that. Boop. I have one bullet. <laughs> you have one bullet. Yay! It looks like wind to me. So we drop that and the broken shotgun off and we'll have a, a much more free inventory. That is, if I can get back there. <laughs> and hopefully with the armor key, um, that was one that locked a lot of doors. So if we've got, we've got the armor key and the sword key now, we should be able to access every room but the ones with the helmet key. And the closet, I guess, and a few others, but you know what I mean. Uh, what is this way, by the way? Oh, you can just unlock this, surely. Yeah! Um, now this door just right on the side here. I've not been to it in this playthrough yet. Is it, what kind of, what does it take? Uh, locked carving of a sword. Bugger! Um, gonna get it then. May as well explore around this area as much as possible. Looks like the sort of, I think, is that maybe the room with the two beds where you get the lighter? That would be very useful if so. All right, you, I uh, cleared you, but you around the pillar, I have not, but you're, you've, there's enough space to run around you, generally. Oh, Rebecca. I hope she's safe. I hope I didn't just, I mean, it's not like, again, it's not like I ordered her to do anything. We're of the same rank, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess she would feel compelled to say sir because I'm like, she's 18 and Chris was 25, did it say? I don't know, he's a bit older than her anyway. Uh... There were a lot of there were zambles in front of the greenhouse, so if I want to get back there, I'm gonna to have to fight my way through, which I am ill-equipped to do at present. So I won't. Probably isn't even worth bringing the gun, isn't it? Oh, it is because I might find a clip in this sword room, which I have a more or less clear path to, except for this first zamble around this pillar. Okay, it's all tactics and strategy and facts and logic now. Uh, no, 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 no! Oh, it's facts and logic, I tell you. Am I in danger now? Better clear up some inventory. Tesk task me. It's alright, we're taking a lot of hits early on here in lieu of ammo. Which was my choice and I knew it would happen. Grr chunk. Oh, did one of those other doors in this hallway around here also need the sword key? Surely the red one there at the at the far end needed. I'm not sure. I prefer to clear out uh, enemies around this area first if I can find a clip in here. I hope. Uh, oh, this is the room with the thing that comes out of the wall, right? Okay, so are there is there there are shotgun shells in the closet it comes out of? But I suppose I can that can wait for now, can't it? And the other thing was just it was a it was a little lore book, so I don't actually need to go get either of those things. If assuming they're the same thing, I'd much rather go and clear out some enemies around here. I think for the time being, especially on the way to the greenhouse, because I'd like all those herbs. Um, I don't really need to take them both out, do I? 
Uh, I'm gonna. Well, let me start with the one at the pillar here, in case I horribly miss everything. This one's definitely a priority, so I have a clear route uh, to a uh, save room. I'm totally not even aiming the right way. I can't see if there's a pool of blood from here, so I'm just gonna wait for it to get up. Okay, there we go. Okay, I see the pool of blood. We're good. I've got 11 bullets to deal with these two. That should be just barely enough, I reckon. Two, three, four, and falls over, uh, bang. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta get at least one before I go back. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Oh no, I'm gonna get comboed. This is how I die. Ah, I, ah, ah, ah. Uh, okay, um, I already missed which one I already shot. Was it this one? I don't think it was. I think I'm shooting the wrong ones now. Oh my god, and I've only got one bullet left. Oh, uh, which one do I shoot? I think this one. Damn it! <laughs> I just wasted all my ammo and didn't kill either of them. Oh, I didn't realize the other one was so close. I should reset that, right? But I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> right, so there are three green ones here and two red ones, I believe. So I can make two red and green mixes and then just keep picked up one extra green one. Observe. Nevertheless, even though I bugger that, as long, once we get back here, um, I can still grab the emblem, take the sword key to the red door, do the whole piano room thing. Actually, there might have been a clip in that room, mightn't there? I can't remember. It's, at least we never have to go back to the greenhouse, so I don't have to worry about you bunch! Let go! Don't touch me. I don't have to really deal with these two ever again. <laughs> I'm back on caution already. Nom. I'm making a mess of this. I'm making a real big mess of this. We've got lots of uh, door, uh, doors to explore. As it stands, so I, I shouldn't panic. I shouldn't despair. I'm ditching the gun for now. I'm grabbing the desk key and the emblem. I guess I don't really need the armor key for... Actually, I forget which key it is anyway. It's one of these two, I'm pretty sure that unlocks the piano room. So I'm gonna take uh, this loadout. Mm, should I take the gun in case? Well, there's nothing, there were enemies in between there and here, I'm pretty sure. I'd rather have more room. I need to I need to have room for the Sonata anyway. Uh, by my recollection, every desk had shotgun shells and then there was maybe one that had flame rounds. So I'm not gonna be like saving the desk key till I find the one that flame rounds because I don't even remember which one it is. May as well just get some extra shotgun ammo out of it whenever I can. I I don't think it's gonna be like the test key's ever gonna be like storing a pertinent quest item. I don't believe they ever did. Anyway, I'll use the desk key here. Um, I can't use it here. Can't I? Oh, can't I? Wait, I could have sworn though that this desk. Why? Well, I'm pressing X. Oh, okay, it was just being really finicky. Get drunk. So it goes away then. Right. Okay. Right. I'll have. I'll be taking that. I'll be the taker of that. I said what I said. I'm pretty sure in this room it was just it was just some lore stuff that you had to fight that thing for. And since I don't have anything to fight it with, I don't feel the special need. Now you door over here. You have used the sword key. Right? Okay, it was the sword key. I, I was pretty sure, but I just it would be annoying to walk all the way back. Right? There weren't any zombies in here in Jill's story. It was only loot and good things, by my recollection. Just gonna run my hands over everything in just in case I miss something even as Jill. Oh, actually, are those ink ribbons on the table? Looks like there's a little speck there, doesn't it? And yet... Never mind. I probably said that the first time too, didn't I? <laughs> Give me that music! Schwunk. Actually, I thought I had in my mind there was a clip somewhere in this room. But now I'm not sure where it is, unless I just push the bookcase over it. Or the wardrobe. Ah, my head just suddenly started... Robbing on the right side. What's that about? Ow! <laughs> Did I just get attacked by like a Mewtwo or something? What the hell was that about? Uh, anyway, music time. Chris unfortunately can't read music. What? Well, neither can I. Hello? Oh, Rebecca. It's me, Chris. Nice to see you. Is that you, Rebecca? Why did he wave and then say that? <laughs> Can you play piano? Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Yep. Can you play? I'll take that as a yes. 
Bravo, bravissimo. I like how Chris has no idea why he's doing this. <laughs> I, I know why, but <laughs> these guys think they're just messing around. Which is great. Abound? M messing about. <laughs> Wait, what is that? My interpretation is off a little. <laughs> Chris, may I practice for a while? Uh, you do whatever you want. Uh, will you have Rebecca practice? Will I have her practice? I mean, she asked to, to practice. You do whatever you Sweet. want, man. <laughs> Just relax and play. All right. Okay, great. Um, so I guess that's supposed to tell me I should come back here later? Or will she get it right one of these times? <laughs> Chris wasn't very supportive. He was like, what is that? That's not the Moonlight Sonata. Okay, no, it's going even when I pause, so presumably I gotta deal with this later then. Interesting. I wonder why that would make me. Well, best of luck with that. I'm gonna go look in some other rooms and stuff, I guess. I can still hear her practicing. That's so cool. <laughs> ah, there are zombies out here. You got this, Rebecca. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. Okay, uh, let's go. I guess the zombies can't hear us, so you're probably fine. Wesker can hear, though, so that, that there's a problem. All right, so I guess I'll stow the emblem for a moment. I'll keep both keys on hand. Uh, I've got no ammo for the guns, so I won't bother with that for the moment. Uh, nor will I bring the knife. I'm gonna grab uh, an herb mix, and I won't take the, the wind crest with me. Uh, I'm just gonna grab these two keys and see what I can scrounge up. I should probably bring the... No, I'm never going to use the knife in open combat. I know I should bring the gun in case uh, I come across some ammunition. Look at that. Basically, the whole west side is covered. Uh, let's get moving. I am Key Man. I possess all the keys except for the helmet one. Don't talk about the goddamn helmet one. It's a very sore spot for me. It's sounding great, Rebecca. I'm gonna go now. Oh, there was a clip outside on Forrest's body, wasn't there? I should go get that right now. Was this one of the keys I had for? Yeah, armor key. I'll go explore that room in a moment. There were also clips and stuff in there. Okay, um, I need to go get the clip from Forrest's corpse. I don't want to get murdered by crows. That would be a damper for me. That would put a drop in my party. <clears throat> I had to purge my throat of that last song. Cut all that out of me. That was just terrible. Don't touch me, I'm not interested in uh, fighting with you, I just want the thing. Okay, they're just chilling out now. I don't know what made them so angry the first time. Unfortunately, this doesn't uh, hamper me at all because I can just flam it into the gun. <laughs> yeah, the total, like, oh, they're cute. Hey, guys. So nice of you to not try and kill me this time. All right, happy we've got this uh, loaded now. I'll head into the armor room. There were a few zambles there by my recollection. There were also some ink ribbons. Because this is the room that goes around where the closet is. I can't remember what else was in there. Was there anything quest pertinent? There must have been. What are the emblems, maybe? Regardless, in we get! So there's one right around this corner, right? Yes, here you are, okay. Bang, two, three, four. Usually it's about four that drop them. Uh, five! And then, oh, that was a good, oh, thank goodness. Uh, and there's a desk over here with some shotgun stuff in it, right? Is that a clip there? I think it is. <gasps> Hot diggity, we're finally building up a bit of a supply here. I do believe there were herbs and ink ribbons in the next room. Various things. <laughs> right, there were a few zombies though, right? There's at least you. Okay, uh, can I shoot that from here? One, two, three, four. Five, six, oh my god, seven, eight. Are you kidding me? What, what it's eight? <laughs> eight? Who decided? All right, so herbs, herbs, uh, this is the closet, and then just the ink ribbon, I guess. Ah, okay, so I, all this was for was for herbs. I lost eight bullets for herbs. Um, well, I'll just make a few trips. You know, actually, uh, I'll head around uh, the east side this time, so I can, because I'm, I'm sure I didn't clear a path to whatever save room is over there. I would have taken the upstairs route, actually, now that I think about it, because there's the the dog hallway that I've not yet been to. Uh, so let's clear out the upstairs route then. That'll probably serve us better for the time being. 
You don't actually ever really need to go to the antiquated hallway, do you? Maybe we just avoid that place forever. <laughs> this game is like a masterclass in pacing in many ways. By virtue of having less ammo, you're kind of like, it's sort of like necessary that you take things slower the first time, uh, early on rather. That's so weird. I, I swear you got, you were on the other side last time we were here. Two, three, uh, damn it. Four, no, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. Please say that's it. I don't see a blood pool, uh, but it's also dark, so let me just wait a bit. I think we're good. Yeah, okay. Right, okay, so there's through the... Not that door, but this door. No, no, it, it's through this door. There's a zombie right there. I'm going to take them out. No, bad idea, bad idea. Why am I doing this? No, 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 no. Uh, terrible idea. Um, we don't need to do that. I'm going to go drop off some stuff. Or just drop off the, the ink ribbons. Then go back for those two green herbs. Put them in my box. And then I'm going to move... I, I, well, I'm, I'll, you'll see where I'm going to move. <laughs> Why would I bother explaining it? Oh, never mind. I do actually have to take that one out because there's no other way around. Well, I could probably unlock this door with one of the keys I have, couldn't I? I am key man. No, damn it. Ah, okay, I see. So you do actually have to go to the end, through the antiquated hallway to get all the way around there because um, it's locked from the inside. I see. Uh, I won't do that just yet. I request a duel with you, Zomble, that blocks my path. Actually, I just want to see, do I have room to get... Did I... I think I took out most of the threats to the east of here because there's a big set of like three rooms that we later that we found in Jill's playthrough was like a huge haven full of all kinds of good stuff and no zombies so I should definitely prioritize that if at all possible was there a zombie we left untaken care of here no it's just the one the one last one okay so I may as well explore this stuff first before I go taking that one out use the armor key sweet let's get in there I, don't, I think we found there was... Oh, there is a one in this room in this version, I see. Well, we don't really need to fight it, I guess. Was Is there going to be one in the entomology room? Now, there's a question. Not as far as I see. Now, we found some good stuff here uh, in Jill's playthrough. What, how, many, how much room have I got? Um, I'm not sure enough for all this stuff, but if we uh, do this... Here. That drains the aquarium, which can then easily be shoved. And we can find bazooka rounds in this thing, or so I expect. <laughs> I love that they do their idle animations so quickly after seeing something happen. It's just like, now what the hell was all that about? <laughs> was there a document or something here? I'm so not picking up any important documents this time. Even though I mean to. Oh, these are new. Well, at least this is. My dear Alma, the fact that you have received this letter is both a joy and a sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of that guy in the sunglasses. Alma, be <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Well, there's only one dude we know with sunglasses. Oh, we'll be calm and read this. Um, I think I've told you that I moved to pharma pharmaceutical company's lab. They headhunted me. Last month, there was a, an accident. There was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying escaped. All my colleagues who were infected by the virus are dead. They, uh, to be accurate, they've become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now, but there's no sign of intelligence in their eyes. That cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain. Love, joy, sorrow, fear, humor, eternally. And Alma, even the memories of the days I spent with you. Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, uh, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget more about you by the day. That sounds familiar. We lost... It was only like half of it was cut off, right? In, in Jill's playthrough? So I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I'll have been my eternal sleep. Martin Crackhorn. Why is it that we only got like half of this in Jill's story? That's very weird. Well, huh. I guess with if we had that part, we, it would have casted more doubt on Wesker. So are we supposed to doubt Wesker early on in the Chris playthrough, but not in the Jill one? That's weird. Anyway, I'll have these ink ribbons that were in this code pocket that I missed the first time I was here in Jill's playthrough. This light is running out of battery. And I'll take the bazooka rounds if there are what's behind here. Oh no, it's shotgun shells, so maybe you don't get a bazooka as Chris. That would be distinctly troubling news, but, um, because it did kind of wreck most of the boss fights for us. In a good way, as in it tore through them. We may still get the magnum though, and that was pretty handy. Uh, right, I'm gonna get out of the room, uh, just so that I can reset your position and then go check the other room, uh, the other side. Actually, I don't think I have room now, do I, for the red jewel. If that's what the red jewel is, I could get the magnum like now, Lee. That would be a good time for me to get the magnum. The now, a, a most nowly time. I'm trying to remember, rack my brain for where the rest of the crests were. 
Now there was one, there was one in that room with all the knights. I'm, I'm sure we'll find it if we just keep exploring. There was one in the big paintings room. And brain isn't remembering very well where the last one is. Oh, it was in the snake, uh, the snake room, wasn't it? You had to run by the giant snake for it. Well, I'm certainly not looking forward to the rematch with that giant snake where I don't have a bazooka. But having all these, this number of ink ribbons is uh, a, a massive load off my mind in this file. Okay, just dart by you. Were there shotgun shells also in this? Or there were magnum rounds, weren't there? Yes, I believe. Well, we're about to find out if- Oh, this is not that room. Where was the room with the deer head? Or has it been moved around a bit? Because actually, I was pretty sure that was here. Do you know what? Maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, nevertheless, this is where we get the lighter, which is sweet. And maybe also some clips. Oh, and red herbs. Oh my god, there's all kinds of stuff around here. There's a clip on the ground in this corner, and then there's a red herb over there. I'll grab those first. Oh, it's shotgun shells this time. Oh, wow, we're getting... So I guess it's going to be mostly the bread and the shotgun you're dealing with in this version. Is that it? I'll grab the lighter just so I can go out and get the, the map as it stands. I'll come back for those red herbs in a moment. Don't touch me, 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 don't touch me. Let's get that map. And it became a roaring bonfire within the min. Short for minute. Efficient. Especially when I have to explain it. <laughs> Take the map now, please. Yes, please. All right. Um. <laughs> so this to my uh, to this door here, which requires the helmet key. The helmet key was it that needed? Yes, that uh, is the where the room where the rematch with the snake happened in Jill's playthrough. Anyway, we've yet to see any of the boss encounters, so uh, one wonders if how, how similar they are in the end. All right, I expect they're reasonably similar. We're gonna want to get through to the that shotgun in not long, I expect, because we have tons of ammo building up for it, and I'm running out of Beretta ammo actually. As it stands, the only way back is through this zombie over here, so I better take you out anyway. One, two, three. It's usually at least three to bring you down. And then, but usually a few more than that, all together. Uh, it usually takes you a few less on the second time to get you down. Oh, it's a spitter. Please don't. Oh, is that what the ones with the gray? Oh. Oh, no. I didn't realize I just spent all my ammo on that. And I don't even have the knife, so it's a waste. Oh. I guess they're, they're, they're tankier in this one. There must be. The, the gray ones must be uh, like the spitters, and they must be stronger, because... It was very rare for them to take that much, that many hits in uh, Jill's playthrough. Okay, um, I've made mistakes. I I'm assuming their health refills if you leave the room. Well, damn. All right, you know what time it is. It's football time. <laughs> Just body check your way through th the zombies. This is the way. No guns, no ammo, nothing. Just a napkin with some crushed plants on it. Think of this as your football, Chris. This is the thing you must tuck under your arm and to dash to the next end of the... Pitch, whatever, what's it called? A football field, I guess. Not a football pitch. Charge! Ow, 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 ow. You mean, you mean, you mean, excuse you? Ah, oh, which wasn't supposed to go there yet, because I still I didn't get the red herb in the. I don't want to talk about it. Maybe the gray ones aren't all spitters, but I think they do have a higher, uh, resilience to being shot in the face. You little rascal, come here. The damage I'm taking is not equal to the amount that getting this red herb will be good for. If that sentence made any bit <laughs> of sense, so I feel like it's a worthy trade-off. Was there anything in this middle bit here that I missed? Nah. Actually, I can. I don't have to take damage from you. I can lure you around in the corner. I don't know why I was before. In fact, I could have gone there if I was less dumb about the way I chose to do things and stuff. This one is. Oh, pff, wow, that was not good. I thought it was about to run to the wall. And the reason I'm going, I may as well just unlock this. I left the keys behind, of course. <laughs> the reason I'm going here is to get those green herbs I missed earlier in the closet room. Didn't forget about you two. Come on and join the party. I shall herbify myself one single time. Okay. <laughs> Mix this one. And we have a clear path to the safe room on the west side at the very least. Well, we have a clear path to the one on the east side as well, just not from it, since I failed to take out that one guarding the door. <laughs> but we have plenty of armor rooms to check um, on the second floor on the east side, so I'm sure we'll be able to find one more clip to get our way through the antiquated hallway, which is going to be probably our next goal, because I want to get to uh, the, I want to get free access all, all every which way. Because right now the door south of the one up in the sort of top right there, those two little rooms we have open, south of there is locked from the other side, so I have to go up from around. Well, sorry, I knocked things around. We're making substantial progress in the man uh, mansion as it stands anyway. We'll be able to go out to the garden very soon, I reckon. We can have all those symbols so fast that it'll be funny. We'll laugh. 
Ha 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 ha. I wonder if Rebecca's made any progress with them. Um, piano and all. Hey, buddy. Yes. Oh, Chris. hey. Yeah. What's up? Hello. <laughs> it is me. It is I. You like it? Sounds great. Yep. Just a little nod. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're you're doing you're, you're sharply improved in the past twenty minutes or whatever. Well, well done, you. Oh, that was great. Uh, run! <laughs> this isn't normal. <laughs> what is that? I think it's a door. Wait. No, I haven't got the emblem on me uh, at the moment, so I guess we'll have to wait. Uh, Chris, Rebecca? Be careful. I'll be careful, don't you worry. When I leave. Brilliant, so now that she's got that uh, um, done, we can also follow up with that little strand of thing. Go get the, swap the emblems out and then put it in the... I don't even remember what it gives you. I guess it's, maybe it's one of the emblems? No, no, no. Because uh, I, I think I counted for all of them. I don't remember what it gives you. When you uh, put the emblem above the fireplace and then it moves the clock, which is what I think happens. But we'll know next time on Resident Evil, because regrettably that's where this one's going to have to end. But well, we've made massive, massive progress in unlocking about a, a bunch of rooms. I once again end the end of the episode with zero bullets, but we have plenty of shells for the shotgun when we get that, which may be next episode, considering I'm intending to head over to the east at that point. So we've got two green herbs and three red and green mixes. Um, in preparation for next episode, I'm just going to bring out the emblem, the armor key, I think. Although even once we get the shotgun, considering I'm not going to be getting the bazooka, it sort of feels like I probably want to be very, very careful with my shotgun ammo because it might be my most powerful weapon for a very long time. Nevertheless, um, that's where I'm going to conclude that. Uh, we've got five ink ribbons, which is just brilliant. I'm very, very glad we picked this story second because it's obviously much harder. And I'll save over Jill 18. Do I ever want to go back to one of these late game saves? It's not a long game. I can play back on my own time if we really wanted to see something around the end for some reason or another. Nevertheless, that is our second save done. We've got uh, a bit of medicine stockpiled here, and we'll only be gathering more as long as I can keep out of trouble, although I don't have any bullets, so keeping out of trouble is going to be very, very difficult. I should be able to go uh, pull the old emblem switcheroo this next episode, unlock a bunch of the armor key doors on the east side and the second floor, and we'll find all kinds of new loot and progress the emblem side, well, not side quest, main quest of getting all four of those so we can go out to the garden. Which took us, that was at like episode six or seven that we did that in the first playthrough. I feel like even though it's more difficult, we're definitely cleaving through faster this time because I have more of an idea of uh, the way the layout of things and sort of the pacing and the objectives and supposed to be heading up. Very good. So next video going to the channel is going to be some more dual destinies, I think. Which, if you can believe it, I'm doing even worse in that game than this one. <laughs> This game where I have no more bullets at the end of every episode so far. I am actually doing <laughs> worse in Ace Attorney. But if you want to see how much of that nightmare you can stand, um, come on back and play some Ace Attorney with me. The next video goes up on the channel. And that is all for now. So thank you so very much for coming around to this episode of Resident Evil. Hopefully I will see you around. Adam's going to be out of here now. Peace. And Mario's face is the same way even while this thing turns, which doesn't make sense, but it, it makes it much easier to, to line up the jump, really. Let's do a flip jump when we get there. Okay. Right, because you can hang in the air until the, the next boat comes around. <laughs>